One of the common skin concerns um, some people are faced with is hyperpigmentation, skin discoloration, and dark spots. And I was one of those people who passed through this issue of hyperpigmentation, but I was able to um, get rid of my own hyperpigmentation. And now, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how you can completely get rid of your own hyperpigmentation. I'll be recommending good and very effective skincare products. And also, I'll be sharing with you how you can maintain your natural skin complexion. That is, if you have a dark skin or a light skin after you must have gotten rid of your hyperpigmentation in order to prevent your skin from getting back um, to this same skin concern now this video is going to be divided into three segments that is we have three agenda for today's video so the first agenda um, on my list is all about active ingredients for hyperpigmentation and dark spots i'll also be sharing with you this hyperpigmentation and um, treatment kit that you can make use of on your face or on your body and also i'll also be sharing with you how you can actually maintain your natural skin complexion after you must have gotten rid of your hyperpigmentation and now when we talk of hyperpigmentation what does it simply mean hyperpigmentation has a lot of causes you know when you when you hear the word hyperpigmentation hyperpigmentation could be melasma okay hyperpigmentation could also be as a result of dark spots you know dark spots that may be caused as a result of sunburn acne scars or redness on the skin so these are just some of the causes of hyperpigmentation on the skin now a quick disclaimer before we get into the video now the first disclaimer is um this process is not going to be a fast action process okay so if you're thinking this process is going to be something that you know on that two weeks you have already gotten rid of your hyperpigmentation no this is a gradual process which means you need patience now another disclaimer is do not carry out this process if you have a bleached skin or a damaged skin barrier now the reason why i said you should not carry out this process if you have a damaged skin barrier is because most of the ingredients that you need to get rid of hyperpigmentation are active ingredients and these active ingredients will not help your damaged skin it will even cause more damage to your skin so if you have a damaged skin barrier it is more advisable or a bleached skin it is advisable that you actually get rid of your you know repair your bleach skin or repair your damaged skin barrier now i have filmed a video where i shared with you how you can actually repair your bleach skin and your damaged skin barrier and i also shared um good skincare ingredients that will actually help you so if you have a bleach skin or a damaged skin barrier and you're also suffering from hyperpigmentation i will advise you to watch that video first and repair your bleach skin or damaged skin then once you're done watching that video you can come back to watch this video so don't worry i will leave the link of that video in the description box so you can follow that link to check out that video and now another thing you also need to take note of is that this process okay of getting rid of your hyperpigmentation it's advisable to carry out this process at night okay because these actives are sun sensitive and another disclaimer or something you also need to take at the back of your mind is that if you're trying to get rid of your hyperpigmentation do not make use of bleaching products okay if you make it if you think um making use of bleaching products will help you no it is not going to help you it will further damage your skin and cause you a more skin discoloration now the first agenda on our list which is active ingredients that are good for hyperpigmentation so there are a lot of active ingredients when it comes to treating hyperpigmentation that will really help you you know to get rid of your hyperpigmentation now the reason why i am mentioning some of these active ingredients that will help you get rid of your hyperpigmentation is because apart from these skincare products that i'm going to be sharing with you in this video just in case maybe you want to get another skincare product you should look out for any of these active ingredients because any skincare product you find any of these active ingredients or the combination of these active ingredients just be rest assured that this um, that skincare product will actually help you now what are the active ingredients that really helps with hyperpigmentation now the first active ingredient on my list is the tranexamic acid we also have kojic acid yes kojic acid is a very popular skincare ingredient when it comes to getting rid of dark spots you know um skin discoloration you know from the very popular soaps that almost everybody knows about which is the koji sand soap which we know that koji sand soap has kojic acid in it now another good active ingredient we have alpha abutin okay so we also have glutathione now another key ingredient is hydroquinone yes hydroquinone i know that hydroquinone is like when people hear about hydroquinone they say oh it's a bleaching product you're not meant to use hydroquinone now listen when you want to make use of hydroquinone the first thing is that it is advisable that you speak to a medical professional okay um if you want to like really really be serious with making use of hydroquinone it's advisable you speak to a medical professional but there are actually some skincare products out there for example some moisturizers that actually contains hydroquinone in them now if you see skincare products that contains hydroquinone in them those products are going to help you with your you know skin discoloration your hyperpigmentation but you also need to take note into consideration that check the percentage of hydroquinone that was used in manufacturing that product okay so 
So the safest percentage of hydroquinone is two percentage. Okay. So if you have any high um, skincare products, let's say you want to purchase any skincare product that contains hydroquinone in it, once it is more than two percent, even if it's two point zero zero one percent, as long as it is more than two percent of hydroquinone that is found in that product, that product will damage your skin. Okay. That product is not a product that you need to use. Okay. Look for products that are two percentage of hydroquinone and below. That is the type of product that you should look out for. Now another good um skincare ingredients, another good active ingredient that will help you with your hyperpigmentation is glycolic acid, and we also have lactic acid. Now you see glycolic acid and lactic acid. These two ingredients are actually exfoliating um ingredients. Okay, they will actually help you to like exfoliate your skin. It will actually when um you make use of glycolic acid or lactic acid in your skincare routine, these two ingredients actually penetrate um fast into the skin. Okay, it actually helps with you know dark spots. Glycolic acid and lactic acid helps with acne scars. It also helps with hyperpigmentation. Now, another thing I love about lactic acid and glycolic acid is that despite the fact that they help you to exfoliate your skin, okay, while exfoliating your skin, they will also help you, you know, enable your other skincare ingredients, you know, to penetrate well into your skin. You know, you would need other skincare um active other skincare ingredients that will actually help you to treat your hyperpigmentation. So, which means you need a product that will actually exfoliate your skin. And this lactic acid or um glycolic acid, they, they are um chemical exfoliants. Okay, so they are examples of chemical exfoliants. Now, another good example of product that will help you with hyperpigmentation is niacinamide. Yes, niacinamide is like a brightening product. Now, another thing again I love about niacinamide is that that's why the fact it will help you with hyperpigmentation, you know, dark spots and all those stuff. If you're also um suffering from acne breakout, let's say you have hyperpigmentation on your face, you have dark spots on your face, and you're also acne prone skin. Products that contain niacinamide will actually help you, you know, to dry out your acne breakouts. It will help you to control those acne breakouts and it will help you control, you know, your oil production on your skin. So this is one um, reason why um, niacinamide is actually a good ingredient when it comes to skin discoloration. Now, another good um, active ingredient on my list again is the azelaic acid. Yes. So these are just some of the um, active ingredients that you should look out for in your skincare ingredients. Let's say you want to purchase any skincare ingredient that to help you with your hyperpigmentation or your dark spots. Now, before we get right into the second agenda of today's video, which is um, hyperpigmentation treatment kit. Okay, I'm just going to explain to you when it comes to skincare routine. You know this um, treatment kit that I'm going to be recommending to you. It is something you're going to like bring in. You're going to introduce it um, in your skincare routine. Now, it is very important that you know how you're going to introduce this in your skincare routine. So the first step in your skincare routine should be gentle cleanser. So after um, cleansing your skin, the next step is making use of your chemical exfoliant. Make use of chemical exfoliant two to three times per week. And this depends on... Um, your skin sensitivity now after you're done exfoliating your skin then the next step is applying your essence or toners okay so essence or toners can be made use of in the morning and at night now after essence or toners the next step is applying your serums now serums can also be done in the morning and at night and then after applying your serum the next step is applying your moisturizer and it's actually advisable that you go for products that are really moisturizing and hydrating to the skin now when you're done applying your moisturizer you now go in with your eye cream now, the reason why I introduced eye cream here is because let's take, for example, if you have hyperpigmentation under your eyes or, you know, dark under eye dark circles, okay, it is not advisable that you make use of any of this um, treatment, this hyperpigmentation treatment kit under your eye areas because it will irritate your eye, it will make your eye itchy and it will even cause more harm to you know that area of your eye because the area of your eyes is more delicate compared to the other aspects of your face so that is the reason why making use of any of these um um treatment kits this hyperpigmentation treatment kit is not advisable for your eye area so if you're also suffering from um, dark under eye dark circles okay it is more advisable that you make use of you invest in an eye cream or you can also make use of eye serum now after you're done applying your eye treatment that is your eye cream um the next step is going in with your treatment so this is where this product i'm going to be mentioning to you actually comes in going in with your um treatment that is your hyperpigmentation treatment kit it is advisable that you make use of it at most three times per week that is three times in a week now when you're done applying your treatment that is your hyperpigmentation treatment the next step is going in with your oil that is face oil or body oil face oil will actually help you to like reduce hyperpigmentation by inhibiting the production 
of melanin and also promoting skin cell regeneration now oils are also very important because it actually helps um to like glow the skin now once you're done applying your face oil or body oil the next step is of course going in with your sunscreen your sunscreen is very important if you're trying to treat hyperpigmentation it is a must that you don't skip your sunscreens okay now when you're going for sunscreen go for sunscreen that has at least an spf of 30 and above and now the second agenda for today's video which is treatment kit hyperpigmentation treatment kit now here are just some very good and effective um products that will actually help you get rid of your hyperpigmentation your dark spots your um skin discoloration or melasma on your skin now starting with the face care kit one good and um, product that will actually help you with your hyperpigmentation is the topical faded serum yes this product here this is what this product actually looks like so this product is actually good for um this pro problem that is it is good for hyperpigmentation this product actually helps to, like dry out acne so if you have acne breakouts on your face making use of this topical faded serum will actually help you to like you know dry out acne and the reason why this product will help you dry out your acne is due to the presence of azelaic acid that is found in it and also niacinamide that is found in it remember i mentioned that azelaic acid and niacinamide are good to get rid of hyperpigmentation now when you're making use of this product it is advisable that you don't make use of this product every day okay take notes don't make use of this product every day i mean i have mentioned this already that when you're incorporating your treatment your treatment should be made use of at most three times um, a week okay now if you want to make use of this product a piece sized amount of this product is actually enough so it's not something that you apply plenty quantity as if it's your moisturizer no it's not something you apply like it's your moisturizer so you just apply a piece sized amount of this product on your hands so when you apply it on your hands you apply it on the affected part of your face so let's say if you have hyperpigmentation on your forehead you apply it there if it's on your cheek you apply it there just any part of your face that you have um this hyperpigmentation or dark spot spot on your skin so you apply it on that part of your skin and then you now rub it you know rub it into that part of your skin and then you now massage it into your skin now this product should not be used in your eye region this product actually contains niacinamide in it like some of the um active ingredients that i have mentioned for you that are found in this product we have niacinamide this product contains alpha abutin this product contains azelaic acid it contains glutathione it contains kojic acid and this product also contains um tranexamic acid so this these are just some of the active ingredients that actually helps with hyperpigmentation that is found in this product this product contains not just one or two it contains a lot of active ingredients so which means this product will help you you know to get rid of your hyperpigmentation and your dark spots okay now this product can be used by both dark skin complexion and light skin complexion now another good product on my list is the ordinary glycolic acid toner yes i'm very sure you must have heard about this product before this product is a very popular product and if you've maybe if you've heard that this product actually helps to treat um hyperpigmentation dark spots yes that is true this product actually helps with hyperpigmentation it helps with skin discoloration it helps with dark spots like this product apart from the fact that you're suffering from hyperpigmentation maybe on your face or on your body if you're also suffering from dark armpits this the ordinary glycolic acid toner is good for dark armpits it is good for dark elbows it is good for dark knees it is even good for dark um inner thighs okay so this the ordinary glycolic acid um toner it's um an exfoliant you know like i mentioned before that lactic acid and glycolic acid are exfoliant they are chemical exfoliants so when it comes to incorporating exfoliant in your skincare routine you can make use of this um the ordinary glycolic acid toner now these products can be used on the face and it can also be used on the body you know and other parts of your body like your dark um your armpits um your elbows that i also meant that i also mentioned before so yeah this product can be made use of on the face and also on the body you should not excessively use this product so if you have a sensitive skin i'll advise you to make use of this product you know one or two times in a week just try and understand how your skin actually reacts to this product but if you don't have a sensitive skin at most three times a week that is when you should use this product now this product should be used only at night and this product is good for both dark skin and light skin complexion so if you have a dark skin and maybe you're suffering from hyperpigmentation or dark spots or skin discoloration this glycolic acid toner is a good product that you can actually make use of now another hyperpigmentation treatment product you can make use of on your face is the touch bright 
and clear cream yes these products here you might have heard of this product before you might have not heard of this product before but yes this product is a very good product it's a very effective product when it comes to treating hyperpigmentation you know getting rid of dark spots on your skin skin discoloration okay now this product also helps with um, melasma on the skin it also helps with acne scars on the skin so if you have acne scars on your face on your body you can make use of this touch bright and clear cream now this product should not be made use of for people with damaged skin now when you're making use of this product it is advisable that you make use of the sandwich method okay now when i say the sandwich method i mean applying your moisturizer applying your treatment and applying your moisturizer now why are you making use of this um sandwich method now the reason why you're making use of this sandwich method is because you are trying to like reduce the sensitivity of this product okay because this product can be sensitive on the skin now also this product should be made use of in a pea-sized amount okay so a pea-sized amount of this product is enough now this product when it comes to the active ingredients and for hyperpigmentation that is found in this product we have azelaic acid okay this product contains azelaic acid it contains kojic acid and it also contains um tranexamic acid so these are just some of the active ingredients um, for hyperpigmentation that is found in this product now this product is also good for both dark skin complexion and light skin complexion now the next product on my list is the ordinary rose hip seed oil apart from the ordinary brand any other um, brand that contains rose hip seed oil that is rose hip seed oil is like the active ingredient that is found in this product that actually helps with um hyperpigmentation now this product is also good for both dark skin and light skin complexion so these are just some um face care kits that you can actually make use of now coming to the body care kit like what product can you actually make use of on your body and this product i am going to be mentioning to you a product that you can make use of that you should make use of you know only from your neck side downwards it should not be on your face this following products i'm going to be mentioning to you should not be used on your face now the first one is a lotion and this is a lotion that me in particular i make use of and the name of that lotion is the amlactin 12 percent lactic acid lotion so this is what this lotion actually looks like i have made use of this lotion i am even currently making use of this lotion and i can testify that this lotion is very good like this lotion actually helps me to get rid of certain um dark spots that that are found on my skin okay so this product is a very good product that will help you to even out your skin it will help you to improve your skin texture okay this product is also an exfoliating product you know i mentioned that glycolic acid and lactic acid are exfoliating products so this product will help you to like gently exfoliate your skin this product will help you with hyperpigmentation and dark spots like i mentioned before it is good to hydrate and moisturize the skin so if you have a dry skin okay and you're looking for products that will actually help you to get rid of your hyperpigmentation and will not dry out your skin then this amlactin 12 percent lactic acid lotion is a very good choice for you because it will help you with your dry skin to help you to hydrate and moisturize your skin okay now this product um, can be applied daily for me i actually apply this amlactin lotion daily on my skin now if you have a sensitive skin okay if you have a sensitive skin it is actually advisable that you don't apply this lotion daily okay so me i don't have a sensitive skin on my body so that is the reason why i am able to apply this lotion daily on my skin and only at night okay so you also need to note that i'm lactin body lotion is a body lotion that you should only make use of at night so like i was saying if you have a sensitive skin don't make use of this product every day so you can make use of this product every other day just understand how your skin reacts to this product if your skin does not react um to this product like if your skin is not irritated by this product fine you can make use of it every day but if your skin is um irritated it just depends on how your skin is irritated to this product then you just reduce the way you actually make use of this product now another thing i also want to um, point out about this amlactin product is that do not apply this product on wounds that i have that have not yet healed now what do i mean by wounds that have not yet healed now i have a wound on my hand i don't know if you can see okay this is the wound on my hand though this wound is already beginning to heal when this wound when i just um got this injury on my hands i did not know that was the first time like i applied it was at night I, after i finished having my shower i applied my amlactin lotion on my body and i applied this in this area i was trying to like distribute it all over my hands and the thing got to this place where i got an um, injury on my hands and the thing peppered me you know what it means for something to pepper you seriously and severely that you immediately start having goosebumps i begin began to have goosebumps on my skin so that goosebumps on my skin showed that my skin was very very irritated 
by that product that I applied on my skin. And it made me very uncomfortable. I had to like go and wash off my hand again. Like I had to wash off my hand. It was not even something I could use ordinary water to wash off. Or you know, use cloth to just clean off. No, I tried using ordinary water to just wash it off. Use cloth to just clean it off. But the thing was still peppering me. I had to go and use soap. Eh? I had to go and use um eh, my cleanser to cleanse that place out. That's what I had to do. That was the only way I was saved that night from applying that lotion on that aspect of my wound and ever since when i realized that and that thin lotion is not something you apply on wounds that are not yet healed i make sure that whenever like whenever i'm applying my i'm like thin lotion at night and make sure i don't get to this area of my hair so that is something i needed to point out because i wouldn't want a situation you buy this product and maybe you don't know about this information and then you apply this product on your wound then it will now start um, irritating you so much and making you feel uncomfortable okay now this product can also be used by both dark skin complexion and light skin complexion now another good product you can make use of that will help you with your hyperpigmentation and this one is also in form of a lotion and that is the body treats lotion now i also make use of this product so this is this product this is what this product actually looks like this is the body treats lotion you might have come across this product you might have not come across this product this product is actually an old product that is it has been in existence for like a very long time like five years six years back or even seven years back like this product is actually a very old product and it is i don't know if this product is really popular i'm not sure this product is so popular but this product is a very nice product now the active ingredient that is found in this product is hydroquinone okay so hydroquinone is the active ingredient that helps with hyperpigmentation that is found in this product so this product contains 1.8 percentage of hydroquinone Note that I said before that if you're going for a product that has hydroquinone in it, it should not exceed 2% in it. Now, this product has 1.8% of hydroquinone in it. Now, this product, if you want to make use of this product, I'll advise that you make use of this product for only light skin complexion, okay? Now, the reason why I said that you should only make use of this product if you have a light skin complexion is because despite the fact that this product helps you know with hyperpigmentation helps with uneven skin you know helps with dark spots this product also lightens the skin you know the other product i was mentioning to you i said it can be used by both dark skin complexion and light skin complexion the reason why is because they do not lighten the skin okay they don't like lighten the overall skin okay but this product actually it will make you like two shades lighter okay so that is also something you need to take into consideration about this product now i'm not going to be talking so much about this body treat um lotion okay so if you want to know more about this body treat lotion i have actually filmed a full and a detailed review talking about this body treat lotion everything you need to know about this body treat lotion okay so i'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box so you can follow that link and um, to check out that video when you're done watching this video and now another product that will help you get rid of your hyperpigmentation you know skin discoloration on your skin is the vit gold three in one body treatment oil now this is what this product actually makes use of this is the oil that me i make use of every day this is my own body oil so this is the vit gold three in one body treatment oil okay now this product contains an spf of 20 in it now this is why i love this product apart from the fact that it helps with skin discoloration and all those stuff it actually contains spf of 20 in it which will actually help you know protect your skin from um, sunlight and um, exposure now this product can be used daily okay it can be used in the morning daily in the morning and like i said before due to the presence of spf of 20 that is found in this product now the key ingredients in this product that helps this product to you know help you with your skin discoloration or hyperpigmentation is glutathione and kojic acid so yes glutathione and kojic acid is used in manufacturing um this vit gold it's actually called the vit gold skin repair three in one body treatment oil so that is the name of this um product so these are just some products that you can actually make use of on your body you know to get rid of your hyperpigmentation if you're having hyperpigmentation on your body now before we get right into the next agenda for today's video which is about maintenance of your natural skin complexion so if you've been enjoying this video so far please kindly give my video a very big thumbs up because when you like this video you signal to youtube that this video was actually helpful to you and youtube will be able to promote this video to more people that also need 
um, this video. And when you like this video, it's a way you support me. Okay. Now, also, please um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe to my channel and also turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified when next I upload a new video. So my upload days are Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Okay. So Wednesdays by 4 p.m. Um, Fridays by 4 p.m. and Sundays by 4 p.m. And now coming to the third agenda for today's video, which is the maintenance of your natural skin complexion. Now, um, one of the problems that people actually, that some people actually face, um, with getting rid of hyperpigmentation is that they complain that, um, you know, whenever they try to get rid of this hyperpigmentation, sometimes or uh, most people actually say that this, um, you know, this hyperpigmentation or dark spot actually backfires back to them that I have actually had some of these complaints. I have actually seen some of these complaints that people say that their hyperpigmentation like backfires back a bit. Their skin tends to get darker back. Like they actually complain about this. So if you're part of those people that actually complain or maybe you have experienced this before, this is a way you can actually use to like maintain your natural skin complexion um, after you must have gotten rid of your hyperpigmentation. In maintaining your natural skin complexion, you need products that will actually help you to like hydrate and moisturize your skin. I said hydration and moisturization. It is very important if you're trying to maintain your natural skin complexion. And you also need products that will actually help you to like brighten your skin and even out your skin tone. That is your skin natural complexion. Now, why do you need a hydrating and a moisturizing product? Now, hydration and moisture or moisturization on the skin is actually good to prevent dry skin. You know, dry skin can be one of the reasons why we tend to like, you know, start developing dark spots, hyperpigmentation and all those stuff. So it actually helps you to like moisturizing your skin and hydrating your skin helps you to like prevent dry skin and flaky skin. It actually helps you to prevent dull skin and it also helps you to like prevent uneven skin tone thereby preventing um, skin discoloration. So this is the reason why you need moisturizing and hydrating products. Now, I'm not going to be mentioning a lot of products that you will need. So if you can just, you know, look for good moisturizing or hydrating products and also good brightening um, products. But just some of good um, skincare products that you can make use of, let's say if you don't have an idea of any skincare products you can make use of to like you know, maintain your natural skin complexion, that is if you have a dark skin, or a light skin. Number one, we have vitamin C serum. When you're trying to maintain your natural skin complexion, making use of a serum is important. You can actually make use of niacinamide serum. That is, if your skin reacts to vitamin C serum, then you can replace it with niacinamide serum. So not only that um is niacinamide good to treat hyperpigmentation, niacinamide also helps you to like you know maintain your natural skin complexion. Now this product I'm mentioning to you can be used by both dark skin complexion and light skin complexion. Okay, so you need a vitamin C serum or a niacinamide serum. So any vitamin C serum or niacinamide serum of your choice is okay. Now talking about vitamin C serum or niacinamide serum, let's say if you actually do not know any good serum you can make use of, don't worry, okay? I have filmed videos, that is each videos on vitamin C serum that you can make use of and also niacinamide serum that is effective niacinamide serum that you can also make use of. So I'm going to leave the link of those two videos in the description box so you can follow that link to check out that video when you're done watching um, this video. Now another good product that will help you to hydrate your skin is the Cos RX Advanced Nail 96 Essence. Okay, so this product here now also from Cos RX, we also have the Cos RX Advanced Nail 92 All in One Cream. So this is another good product that will help you to like maintain glow. You know, your natural skin complexion will not be affected if you make use of any of this Cos RX product that I have mentioned to you. Now, another good um product you can make use of is brightening cream. Like I said before, um, you can make use of any product that you know is a brightening product. And then finally, sunscreen is a must. If you actually want to maintain your natural skin complexion, you know, preventing your skin from you know, reversing back to um, the state it was at before, that is go getting back to like um, skin discoloration, then sunscreen is a must. Now, you know, when I mentioned brightening um, creams or lotions, you can actually make use of, if you need more good options of, you know, products you can make use of that will actually help you to like brighten your skin, 
even out your skin and maintain your natural skin complexion okay i have actually filmed a video where i shared my best skin brightening body lotions for a glowing and even skin complexion now this video um these products i mentioned here are products that i have actually made use of and i can actually testify that these products are actually good on the skin so i'm going to leave the link of that video over here so you can follow this link to check out that video so loves i'll see you all in my next video bye